Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. These readings are for August 2024. Yes, this year is like really flying by. With that being said, thank you for hanging out with me and being so kind uh, during our time during the storm. I do live out here in Houston, Texas, and so Beryl got us. We were without power for about five or six days. I kind of lost track of the time. It's been one of those trying times and the city is still rebuilding and so are other surrounding areas. And so thank you for, for being so nice to me during that time, all right? So the way these readings are going to work is we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on and then we're gonna go into a general oracle. We'll go into a general reading, just guidance and love, singles, couples, and then all signs, okay? so. If you're new to my channel, where the hell have you been? Let me guess, I don't get put up on options over here on YouTube. <laughs> so you have to like look for me. And even then, sometimes you won't find me. So if you are like an old um, subscriber, you're gonna have to unsubscribe to resubscribe because I, I'm an older, older channel and we don't get a lot of, um, we don't get a lot of excitement over here. <laughs> so, and if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. And I need them so bad, my back is killing me. So, as we all know, we are moving into Leo season, and I am a Leo. So, if you want to get me a little something or send a little something, I'm going to leave my Amazon wish list at the bottom. And there's also my link tree. You can send over a dollar, whatever, it does not matter. Um, you can send me some birthday monties, okay? And that'll be under my link tree. So with that being said, let's talk about what's going on in the heavens. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Aries, que ta pasando? We have the new moon in Leo, 12 degrees, all right, on the 4th. This energy is wanting you to focus on your career, baby. You are preparing for something exciting in your career, some shifts, some changes, some recognition. But this is the time to start planning, all right? And also on that day, Venus is entering into Virgo. With Venus entering into Virgo, this is a time of love getting down to the details, all right? We want us to know what's really going on and what, what are we? What are we doing? What is this, okay? Now, on the 5th, prepare yourself. Bum, bum, bum. Mercury retrograde, four degrees Virgo. We want to know, baby. We want to know about the foundations. We want to know where we're going, what we're doing. There's going to be a lot of things coming, and it's not always just about exes coming back, okay? This could be about issues or things from the past that are reoccurring, revisiting, and this is a second opportunity or another opportunity to go back and make things where you're happy with them, okay? Now, on the 14th, Mercury retrograde is going to move from Virgo into that of Leo. Now, that might get a little spicy, all right? So, I want to hear all about it. Like, be sure that you come hang out with me on Instagram, okay, on Tuesdays or Wednesdays at 5.36 p.m. Central Time. We do live readings, and I want to hear all about your stories. Now, on the 19th, this is a really important um, conjunction going on with the full moon in Aquarius, 27 degrees 27 comes to a nine this full moon in aquarius is definitely ending a cycle especially if you go all the way back to the new moon in aquarius this is ending that cycle so kind of kind of look back what was going on during that time of your life now the conjunction that i'm talking about is the one on august 19th and this is about jupiter square saturn jupiter is going to be 17 degrees gemini okay jupiter is planet of expansion um uh, making things happen blessings um Square is a challenge to that of Saturn, which could be rules, regulations, government, challenges, and it's in Pisces. And so our dreams are being challenged to be expanded. That's one way I'm looking at it. Now, I may be incorrect, but that's the way. What is getting in your way? This is trying to tell you it is time to get serious about your goals, all right? Now, on the 22nd, call up a Virgo and tell them happy Virgo season, okay? But it's still considered after Leo season, so you can still call me and we'll still hang out, all right? Anyways, on the 28th, Mercury goes direct, 21 degrees Leo, okay? Now that we still have those two weeks after, you know, so communication might still be a little choppy. There could be some issues with technology, like we've just recently seen with the other conjunction with the Uranus square, um... Uranus uh, conjunct, um, oh my goodness, I went blank. I wanted to say Saturn, but it's not. And anyways, I just went blank and I apologize. Now, on the 29th, it was on the 15th, whatever was the conjunction was on the 15th of July, that was intense and it caused like actually like a whole bunch of stuff to happen with Microsoft. Now, 
On the 29th, Venus enters into Libra, all right? So this is about love being a little friendly, all righty? So with that being said, Aries, let's jump into your read. Let's have some fun today. Oh, your full moon energy is going to be focused with that of friendships. I do think that during this time, there could be also people that you're meeting along your path and along your way that are going to elevate you to the next level in your career and in your friendship realm, okay? Now... Your rune is that of Tevas, all right? This little beautiful sexual symbol right here of the arrow, all right? This energy right here is about authority, justice, passion, victory. Like, all you do is win, 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 baby. You are moving forward. You're making things happen. So that is also a beautiful... Um, little symbol to put on a red candle, you know, and kind of make that energy move and pop so that you can move forward in your career or go forward in whatever energies that you want victory in, okay? Now, let's jump into this. You got Imum Koli. This is your um, IC in your chart, which is very much to the 10th house. This is showing you kind of like where you're rooted and grounded, how you're really seen in the career field and your work field, what you're known for. All right. So that could be a very big importance for you this month, too. Now, as we were talking earlier about the uh, Jupiter square Saturn, this beautiful square is wanting you to learn to be flexible. Now, I read these cards a little bit differently. I also think that the 19th is going to be important and the 10th is going to be important for you. I, be, I feel like cleansing and clearing with an egg, you know, limpiando de ojo, clearing the energy, that kind of thing. But learning to be flexible. Um, going with the flow, not being so rigid, because if a friend invites you out to a dinner, go, because you could meet some important people to elevate your career, okay? So, rooted and grounded in those things. Now, your other energies that are coming in for you this month is that of the raven, and that is like prepare for change. It is time for changes to come in. It's time for beautiful things to occur for you, and I also like ravens are extremely intelligent, okay? Extremely intelligent, and I had a wonderful dream about them, and like ever since I dreamt them, my life has completely changed. <laughs> It's important to understand that when these animals' energies come in, it doesn't necessarily mean that, oh my gosh, it's their omens or bad things. It's kind of like the way the universe kind of wakes you up a little bit and says, hey, pay attention, okay? So, your other cards when it comes to love is that of the Buddha Prepares, card number 13 in this deck. When the Buddha Prepares comes out, this is about you simply, I want to say, pull into that sacral energy because of the orange and in your solar plexus because of the yellow around his, his, his area right here. You are getting into leadership. There's something about you really moving into leadership. The 4th could be important. The 13th could be important. I also feel like you are really taking yourself away from things. Now, there, I have the image of the tree on the IC card right here. And then when I looked, I saw this tree here with the roots. I do feel like it's time for you to get really grounded this month and like really grounded on what you wanted to move forward and what's going to make it into the rest of the year for you. All right. And it wants you to pay attention to the Mercury retrograde as you're preparing. You might have a lot of people from your past reaching out for you and looking out to see like, what is Aries up to? Not effing with you, that's for sure. But Aries, you're focused, you're driven, and your goals are like super important to you right now. Some of you are also dealing with uh, children, or the idea of children, or you have adult children. Uh, this could be affecting your relationships or even, you know, assisting your relationships. And especially if because we're fire signs, Aries, Leo, Saturn energy so with that being said those energies are coming in for you so I want you to think about in your mind's eye I thought I had another deck of cards out here I guess I guess I didn't so in your mind's eye we're gonna do a yes or no question okay a yes or no question and if I can get all the cards out I hurt my hand recently stapling folders because we're doing paperwork submission right now at my company and well, we have like TEA stuff that we have to do. And I hurt my finger <laughs> like stapling these folders together. So I've had like some issues this week. So I apologize. How, who injures themselves with a stapler? Me. I do. That's who. That's who. All right. So let's see here, Aries. Think of a yes or no question. Overall energy is about a celebration. It's about the foundation. I do think that the number 444 is going to be very significant for you this month. I also feel that it's going to be important for you to start thinking about what it is that you want a foundation in. All right. So question number one, question number two. For question number one, we have that of the Ten of Swords. This is going to be a no for me. 
okay no you should not stay no you do not go back you need to keep moving and keep going and we need a fresh start okay for question number two this is a yes set yourself free move forward allow yourself to make the decisions that allow you to feel more like yourself all right a lot of times we're making decisions for other people and this is all about you my love all about you Okay, so let's see, what do we have for our general, for our beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have here? First energy we have is addiction. You could be dealing with someone who is codependent, obsessed with you, very possessive, or there's kind of emotional blocks going on. We got the runner, we got the track star coming in. Someone who's a fear of, a fear? A fear of intimacy, okay? Afraid of letting go but they want to stay around and then we have paradise okay I kind of feel like in this situation okay there we go healthy choices you know you need to let something go you know you need to start fresh you need to start new if something keeps running away from you then that is simply it's just not for you right don't you we don't chase we attract all right now let's get a general message what do they need to know I also feel like eating healthy and some of y'all might start a workout program, okay? So change your workout program completely. All right, we have here the Ace of Cups. So we have love on the horizon. We're holding on tight to old ways of being. Some of us don't even want to open our heart, okay? We're going to fight it. We're going to fight that love. <laughs> and some of us are lingering in an energy that needs to be released. However, the way that we end this month is learning to give to what is giving to us. Overall energy you have this month is the Eight of Wands. Now, with the Mercury Retrograde card that came out and this Eight of Wands energy, okay, Okay, so he's super excited. You could hear from somebody in the past that you were just not expecting to hear from, okay? However, you are looking for love. You're not looking for hookups. Eight of Wands can also be quickies, okay? So check yourself before you wreck yourself. The Four of Pentacles by the Five of Swords, this energy right here is basically kind of telling you, like, hold on, hold on to your words. Choose your words wisely. Be careful when you're sending text messages because they can start conflicts. Now, this hangman by the Six of Pentacles, for me, this is like, hang on to your values. Hang on to what you really want and do not give in to anything that doesn't make you feel great. Okay? If it doesn't feed your soul, it's not for you. And I think like a lot of times, Aries, you, you they always try to say you make impulse, impulsive decisions and things like that. And possibly you can, okay? Because we all do. But I think overall, the energy that's coming in for you this month is really wanting you to focus, really focus on what it is you want, need, desire. And anything that causes that codependent relationship or an addiction to a way of being that is no longer healthy for you needs to be released. All right? Okay, this is for my beautiful singles. What is the messages for my singles? Okay, let's do it like this. Let's use this. Okay, we have here love spell. Ow, ow, ow. And we have intimacy. Singles, what's going on with pets? All right, so pets could be an important part of this relationship. We could be getting a pet together. We could be splitting the pets up. We don't know. We don't know. Or we just want a new animal, okay? Some people love buying pets. I don't know. All right, let's see what does love spell have for our singles. Soulmates, soul connection, partnerships. Some of y'all have been really been working on your energy and love, okay? And like maybe you're doing love spells on Fridays, not necessarily to keep someone tied to you, okay? But you want to attract love. You're doing honey, honey pot spells, things like that. Mm. We should make a whole video of those. Intimacy and we have love. Okay, some of y'all are really calling in this unconditional love. You really want more of a connection than a hookup. Okay? With the pet's energy, stability, and security. So we're really looking for some. And you know what? I've met people who are like, if my dog doesn't like you, then we're not together. And I'm going to tell you something. I used to date a guy who had a dog and the dog loved me, but I did not love the dog because my eyes would swell up. <laughs> I was highly allergic to it. It didn't work out. We couldn't be together. It couldn't happen. <laughs> so pets could be something that's very important for you. Someone who makes you feel safe and secure. Okay. So love spell intimacy and pets. Ew. All right. Let's see. For my singles, we are making major decisions with the two of wands. We are being very picky this go around. Okay. And we're setting ourselves free. Some of us have just left a re uh, left a situation that just wasn't good for us with that ton of wands. Pack them up and move it out. Okay. And the tower just popped out at me. 
We are focused on what is working for us. We're manifesting, we're creating, we're dreaming, and we're doing a lot. I feel like a lot of you out there, it's even something about like a business trip possibly. You're, whoa, you might be going on a business trip. Those cards that jumped out was the Queen of Wands and the Emperor, okay? And then I have the Empress here looking at me at the bottom. So for some, you could meet your, your next boo on a business trip, okay? We are releasing the past with the Eight of Cups. We're moving forward, moving on, and holding on to what we got, baby, all right? Overall energy, we want the full package with the Ten of Pentacles. So singles, I kind of see an energy of you really wanting to move forward. You've really been working on yourself. You're like saying, you know what, no more of these like quick relationships. I'm ready to see what this is about. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to do what I need to do. The eighth could be important, okay? All right, let's see here. With this Two of Wands, what is this major decision for Aries? The Three of Cups, okay. So in this Three of Cups, they're having a real good time. They're celebrating, okay? And you're trying to make a decision with this Three of Cups. And then we have the Knight of Swords. I'm trying to cover up these parts. The Knight of Swords coming in and everyone's watching, okay? And then the next card we have here is the Ten of Pentacles. So what this is kind of making me feel is there's a decision. You like to go out. You like to have fun. But you want to bring someone home to the family. You want to feel like the full package. You don't want to have to hide anymore. So some of you are going to be making some really big decisions about who you're going to let into your life. The Ten of Wands wants you to know the Queen of Wands. Put yourself in the spotlight. You were probably with somebody who didn't make you feel like you were all that, but you are. I'm telling you, you can meet somebody through a work situation with the Three of Pentacles. So there's about somebody watching you at work and just like really being impressed with you, Aries. And they want to grow with you. They want to develop Seven of Pentacles. They want to take it to the next level. Eight of Pentacles, what do you have for them? Crowning this read with the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Cups. We can have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who has their eye on you, Aries, because you fly, baby. Looking good. Okay, they want to run their fingers through your hair. They want to feel good around you. So there's something about your hair. Okay, they do and they don't want you to be single anymore. They want you off the market. Okay, and there's a possible move for you with the Hermit. Uh, the double nine there makes me really feel like somebody could be moving. Um, cutting ties with the past, moving forward with someone new. You could have a Virgo who is like in shock. Okay, they're in shock that you moved on without them. However, we're moving forward with this Eight of Cups vibe. What is this Eight of Cups about? The Five of Pentacles. Don't cheat me, baby. Don't cheat me out of my new beginning. All right, you can't come back up in here after you done messed up. So then I have the tower here. So this is the vibe that I get. You meet somebody, let's just use the work, work scenario. You meet them through a work situation, things are going great, and then someone from the past is like, oh, hey, do you wanna to go to lunch? Oh, hey, I sent you flowers to work. Oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, mm, I'm not really feeling that. Don't entertain things that you don't see a future with, okay? Now, if you just want to have the attention and you just want to have fun, then oh, I get it, I get it, all right? Do your thing, baby, do your thing. But um, some of y'all want more. So you're walking away from an energy that can't give that to you. You're like, I'm not going to do that. I've got to go. I've got to go with the action card. I don't have time for it. It's time for me to move forward. And I do want to say this could be a month where somebody wants to borrow money from you or there's something with finances. No, thank you. No, thank you. Now she does. I think that's Othila. Othila on her um, on her the rune on her ear. Your money should be invested in the home, in you, your home, your parts, your stuff. We're not paying for other people's stuff this month, okay? You, there's also something about possibly moving, all right? Moving, moving, moving. The Four of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles, okay, I do think somebody from the past wants to come back. They do. They want to come back, okay? They want to overpower you, but you're, you're stronger than that with the Strength card. You're like, you know what? No, the Six could be important. August 6th could be very, very important. And you're holding out for love, okay? Now, in this situation, and then I get strong Pisces again with the hangman. So I kind of feel like in this situation of love this month, you're going through a time of like releasing this, oh, Aries is wild and fun, Aries ain't serious, Aries don't want a relationship. And there was probably someone you had your, your heart built on or your heart set on 
Um, and it didn't work. And so you're like, you know what? I'm going to make some changes. I'm focused on my career. I'm focused on moving forward. I'm going to go and enjoy myself. I'm going to go have a great time at work. And so that's what you do. You end up doing that. You meet somebody and they're like, I got to take you off the market. Like, no, this isn't, you know, this ain't going to happen. Like you're going to be mine, Aries. Um, or you could be feeling that way about someone else, you know, because they make you feel good. There's a lot of intimacy. It's not just a physical relationship with you. It's intimacy. Okay, now we did have somebody from the past showing up. Okay, someone from the past. Where did these cards go? I'm just laying that right there. So this person from the past, this person from the past, um, they were overwhelmed. They have a lot of stress. It's draining them. Okay, and they were trying to move on or they see you moving on and it's bothering them. And they know that you're hurt from it and they're very hurt from it, right? And the thing is, there's a lot of this energy of them saying, whoa, you just moved on so fast, Aries. Like, you must not have loved me the way I loved you. But in reality, that person was the one who did that to you. So if that person could talk, what would they tell our, our little Aries here? What would they tell you? I don't feel like I deserve you, okay? I hate seeing you with them. And that's that, that card where, where was the hermit card? Hold on. Right here. Like, they see you just living your best life. You're like, you're enjoying yourself. And they're like, what about me? What, well, what about you? When you had your chance, boo, what happened? They will never compare to you. This person left you for someone else. They made you feel very insecure. Very much like you weren't good enough. I know that we have a soul connection. Yeah, okay. And I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. And I underestimated how important you are in my life with I want to hold you. This person that's coming back is going to want immediate connection, immediate, immediate access to your energy. And I mean, that's up to you. Remember, you are in full control. We live in free will, things like that. But this is the kind of person that they did you really dirty, man. They did you dirty and they made you feel like you were less of a person. Um, and you're not you're not here for it. So let's see who's coming in for you. Let's see who's coming in for you. Where did those cards go? I might have to stop my video, video, because I can't find them. All right, give me a second. I got to find them. All right, Aries, let's see here. We have a description of this individual. The new person that you could meet through a work situation, possibly, okay? We have here long legs. Long nose, long hose, okay? Ew, I love it. This energy, pay attention a lot to the 17th, 18th, and 19th, okay? This energy, this person also is new. You've never met them before or you've probably never engaged in conversation with them. They could have like a bigger chest. Um, maybe they're just like super built, but they have long legs, okay? This person is medium built. Um, they also are, I wanna say, could be Taurus energy with that. And then we have dark hair, dark eyes, possible uh, tattoo, Scorpio energy, and um, Cancerian energy also. So we have that Cancer Scorpio Pisces from earlier, Taurus and Gemini also in the mix. There is this vibe about this individual. They're new. They're, they're key to your growth. There's also a scar or a tattoo that they have that you're going to recognize or notice. Very curvy also, okay? Very curvy. Clues, clues, clues on this individual coming in for Aries. We have the flowers, okay? The crown, la flower crown, okay? This person is very big on um, sending gifts. Okay, uh, then we have the ladder. This person is climbing the ladder at work, the corporate ladder. That's just like you. That's why career is very important. Y'all could have conversations over that, over drinks. Okay, let's go have a drink. And they recently just got out of a relationship. Give me one more clue. And they love your hair. Remember, I told you there was something about your hair earlier. There's something about your hair. They could possibly smoke or vape or like they like to like gossip with you. The 27th could be very important also. Okay. <clears throat> I just choked. Um, let's get some initials. What are some initials? What are some letters that could be important? Give us clues. We have O, oh, okay, Ophelia. We got K for Kayla or Karen or Kyle. All right, yay for yay. Y, Y for Yaya, all right, Yarina. And we have a C. So I also get like the name Corey. They could be, um, okay, this is so funny that I spelled it this way. I used to have an uncle named Koki, okay, Koke. 
um, and that name really popped out to me when I saw these letters here. And the numbers that they add up to is 13. The 13 could be very, very important for you, okay? Like, there's this trip you go on, you're gonna meet them, it's like super exciting and fun. Let's just pull some random, um, we have Aries, it could be another Aries. We have Aquarius. And we have Leo, okay? Sun, moon, rising energy, all right? So let's close you off with just a little bit of oracle guidance in this situation. Let's see what we got. We have a broken heart. We have don't get tied up in your broken heart because love is on the way. So some of y'all, like I said, recently just left a relationship and you just didn't think that this was going to happen so fast. Like, oh my God. What is this about? And it is about love. All right, love is on the horizon. So for my couples, let's see what our couples have. What do our couples have? What do our couples have? We have here, caution, we need more information, okay? Don't overdo it. Be patient, take your time. And we're planning a vacation possibly, okay? Yeah, I love vacations. I didn't really get to vacation like I normally like to do. Uh, usually I get to vacation quite a bit, but I didn't get to this year. Not with this storm we had. This thing got me and then I had to pay for my daughter's school. It's just like, whoa. All right, caution. What do we need caution with? We are... Take some breaks before we commit to something, okay? Because we have higher commitment here. We need more information. Patience if we're dealing with somebody who is love bombing, okay? Research that. Um, someone who makes the relationship one-sided, I think we need to be careful before we commit to that. And then vacation, go with your friends, have fun, enjoy yourself, okay? Go with your partner, whatever it is that you want to do, but you are going to go and have a good time okay what is Aries person oh goodness Aries person thinking I'm gonna use these okay first card that came out was the six of Pentacles your person is kind of thinking about give and take here is this equal am I getting what I'm giving am I giving what I'm getting they are also very tired they need a break okay for a swords but they see you as the empress, okay? They see you as like, wow, you're like everything. You're like all that I've ever could imagine. Is there anything that you can't do, Aries? Like, damn, okay? How is their person acting right now? How are they acting like the queen of pentacles? They want to invest with you. There's a lot of pentacles coming out. You could be dealing with an earth sign or you're dealing with someone who is very concerned about the material life, okay? Material girl, let's see what is, what comes between them? What is a challenge for them? The page of cups. This could be an offer. This could be a job offer coming in. This could be also dealing with a child, but there's something new coming in, new information. Do you see how she's holding the heart? Okay, and we have major decisions. And that's why it's telling you, don't make any major decisions right now. We are going to a Mercury retrograde. Let's just take our time. Let's just, let's get more information, okay? And somebody is feeling a little bit overwhelmed overwhelmed by the situation this is a lot at once i almost want to feel like i don't know if somebody's like pressuring you to do something and you're just like i don't know about all this i don't know i don't know let's look at the six of pentacles so immediately we have the eight of swords coming out so they're over here they're having the time of their life and then here comes the double ideals meal there's either something from the past it could be a past situation in finances. It could be a bad decision that they throw in your face or something, but something's coming back. And then we have the King of Cups right here. Give me more with that. And the Three of Wands. I do feel like this individual is really wants to be with you. They do see a strong future with you, okay? Four of Swords, what is this Four of Swords about? The Five of Pentacles. There's some financial issues going on here. There's also something about feeling very much kept quiet, okay? They feel like left out in a way. Ten of Wands. Sneaky energy. I don't know why I get sneaky energy with this. Like they they feel like they have to hide y'all's relationship. They don't want to hide it anymore. How, why do they see them as the Empress? Why do they see them as the Empress, the Two of Pentacles? You can balance everything. You can just do it all. 
and you're hella sexy with the ace of swords i'm gonna tell you like they're like how do you do this like aries how how does aries do this this is amazing okay and the knight of swords with this, I'm going to say what is said and done behind closed doors needs to stay there. Do not share too much of what y'all do with others because people are going to want to do it too. All right. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why are they acting like the Queen of Pentacles? We have the Knight of Wands. They, they love the passion that you guys have together. They love that passion. Okay. And somebody is saying, yeah, I want to get married. And they don't. Or, no, I want to be in a relationship. And they do. Okay, because that double knight energy. Five of swords, I feel like their actions and their words are being very conflicting. Okay, because they're not sure how they want to move forward with the seven of cups. What is this page of cups about? What is going on here with this page of cups? We have here with the page of cups, the magician. There's some new information coming in. There's also, I kind of, this, this magician makes me feel like, damn, dude, like, why are you so serious? What's going on? Okay. And there's justice. Now, what I do notice is they both have swords, right? So there are some in, there are some words being said this month, okay? There's also a big move in justice, and I get the number one, 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 okay? With the eight of cups. So this energy is there's something from the past that's replaying in their mind. They don't know how to move past it. They want to cut it out. They want to be fair. Somebody wants to get married, okay? They want to get married. They want to take the relationship to the next level. What does judgment have for you? Judgment's the Nine of Pentacles. Cutting something off, ending something, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So <clears throat> I almost choked on that. Um, I'm going to say this because now I have the Knight of Cups looking at me, and this is not for all Aries. With the golden mirror coming out, with this ten of swords here, okay, with four knights on the table, there are some Aries who are experiencing relationships where the words and the physical energy could be leading to something that is too much. Um, if we start yelling and our voices raise and there could be a court issue going on, go. Don't, don't, I'm, I, uh, domestic violence survivor. I have been out of that for over 10 years. Uh, it has been a journey, but there is a lot of the mental games that were played that still, you know, I, that I get help with. Okay. And so I do feel like there's a very strong, this is not for all. Okay, this is not for all. The argument may begin with money. There's something about money. There's something about you going out with friends. They want to put parameters on you, Aries, and you're not feeling it. If it gets heated, get the hell out. Go for some air. Give them their space. If they say, I want to leave, let them go. Bye. Okay? Ten of swords with the ten of swords. This is a feeling right here of like, I can't do this anymore. So this is either you or them. And it's time for you to take control with the emperor. Okay, you pulled your own card. So there is a, there are not all Aries relationships are going through this. Remember, I said take the parts that fit and leave the rest for someone else. But in this situation, the 29th could also be very important. Okay. There is something about finances. There's something about trying to move to the next level. There's also possible court situations. Maybe we're going through with like we got we're combining families. Um, but this person is not sure how they want to act. They act like they're all in that you're, you know, you're everything. I want to do this. But then their behavior is different. Okay. I mean, the words are different. Their ego is in the way. Okay. Their pride. They're sabotaging the connection. Um, and they're struggling to find the right path, okay? They don't know what to do. And because they are not sure, they're making you feel unsure about the situation, all right? And then there is a very strong soul tie. And I don't know why the runner card's looking there, so you just take that how you want it, okay? So in this relationship, in this situation that you got going on, it is one that we're having some financial issues. They do see you as the empress. They feel like you can supply everything. They do need a little bit of a break. You do need more information before you move forward. Um, and pay attention to the actions, not so much the words, all right? So um, let's look at closing messages in love. Closing messages in love, what do they need to know? 
We have information. There could be new information, information of a child coming through. It's good news. There's good news coming in. You could also be getting good news from a government, from the bank, or from work about something ending, okay? There's a major ending. And I want you to be very careful this month sharing with friends and family what's going on until you have made the decision on how you're going to move forward. All right, let's look at the oracle for you. What do we have for them? What do we have for our couples? What do we have here? We have a money, 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 money. Man holding a coin, meow, okay? Lots of indecision coming in and the thinking man. Okay, so some of y'all are very worried about finances. There's other people that are like, okay, look, I, I have this situation financially. I don't know how to handle it. Um, don't be afraid to leave good for great, okay? Don't be afraid of that. And yes, there's a lot of envious energy around you. And you need to be focused on your abundance, all right? Focused on your money. Focused on what's going on for you, okay? Some of y'all are dealing with a narcissist. That's the second time that word comes out. I don't like to overuse it. So they could be over, they could just be very full of themselves. Yes, they are watching you. There's somebody watching, spying on you. August 20th is going to be important. And they could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? They're just watching you, trying to see what you're doing, boo, what's going on. I know that wasn't a very positive reading. And like I said, that's not for all Aries okay this is not a personal reading however what I'm if you're going through that situation I'm not gonna hide what I see okay so important dates that we have here the fourth the fifth the sixth the eighth thirteenth nineteenth twentieth twenty seven and twenty nine yeah okay and I, I'm remembering Tay Vaz came out, okay? And so with Tavaz coming out, that energy is telling you better. You better stand up for your energy. Do not be afraid, okay? All right, I'm cutting the deck. So we feel stuck and we need to make some changes when it comes to love, Aries. Ay, Aries, que vamos a hacer? Okay, let's get some shuffles in. This is where we're going to go Aries to Pisces, and that's all it wants to shuffle, Okay. Okay, Aries, you see all the red flags. The other Aries is really trying to get in control of the situation, um, but this is a very heavy burden, double 10. There's also something with work coming in for you. There's something about feeling like y'all are at odds and enemies, the 20th could be important. You are very conflicted, Aries, and Taurus wants peace. Taurus is like, hey, can we get some damn dirty peace here? I also feel like there could be family issues because that's what the deer is about. Now, it is important for them to make healthy choices, and it is important, important for you too, baby. And we need to take to our time with patience and temperance, okay? Taking our time. The 12th could be very important. Aries, you are at the Five of Cups. You're all cried out, okay? And Gemini's like, I want to go do something different. I want to start over. What's going on? And there is something about connecting with our higher self or prayer and meditation and putting something in an action. I'm going to say watch your drinks this month, okay? Sabotage and rebuilding, um, working on it and repairing it. I do think that you're at a point where you feel like there is no repairing the relationship. And Gemini is like, ah, oh, we got this. We can do this. All right? We got it, baby. Don't worry. Here you are as the Empress and oh, looking sexy. Oh, important date for um, Aries and Gemini, the 12th. Okay, Empress, here you are as the Empress and Cancer is like, wait a minute, um, single. I'm single because you hurt me. Somebody feels very hurt in this situation. They don't know how to move forward and they're like, what do I need to know? There's also something about being hurt about a child or being hurt about a pregnancy. The 11th could be important. All right, here you are making all your prayers and all your things come true. And Leo, Leo, oh, Leo's stuck. They don't know how they want to move forward, okay? The solution, we are all out of love. So Aries and Leo are having a little bit of issues right now. What are you praying about, Aries? What's going on here? watching looking and stalking so either you're watching and stalking them or they're stalking you 
okay you do not want to talk and virgo is done virgo is finished with this situation we've got to make some major changes with the death card the important day for you guys is the fourth here you are as the Queen of Cups reverse. You you are feel like you're being emotionally drained, okay? And Libra's like, I got money. Something needs to be in balance, okay? Our emotions, our finances got us all over the place, and Libra is trying to take control. The first could be important. Here you are, you feel like something was exposed, something was said, and Scorpio said, talk about it, be about it. And there's a lie being um brought to the forefront solution is get out of your head don't argue let's move forward I think you're going to end up walking away the fourth could be important here you are as the chariot reverse check your car make sure don't speed this month aries don't speed okay and also you don't feel like you're winning at something and and look sagittarius pulled you sagittarius is making you feel not like yourself right now it has to do with the family situation or not being the complete package. The seventh could be important. You are the world reversed. You do not like the way something is ending. Capricorn is like, I don't know, I'm a player. <laughs> I don't play, but it's all being brought to the light, okay? Something is brought to the light and you're not here for it, Aries, and you're done. The tenth could be important. You are the Ace of Pentacles reversed. You are not putting your quarter in that slot, okay? And Aquarius is being a hot mess over here as the Knight of Wands. Very, very, um, what is kind of reckless energy, okay? And we're not healing from a situation that Aquarius might have done, all right? The eighth could be important. You are the King of Wands. You're you're hot, baby. Nunska is right over here. He ain't got no eye. He ain't got no pupils, baby, but he can see. All right, you're being very creative. You're moving forward. Pisces is all in love with you. They're like, I want to be with you. We got the lovers, and you just got to make the decision. And look, we end with Tewas, okay, or Tivas, all right? This is that energy. This is you moving forward, having breakthroughs, and moving on. So, congratulations, Aries. I hope you have a beautiful month. Remember, if you want to hang out with me, come hang out with me on Instagram, Tuesdays or Wednesdys, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're doing questions. We're going live. We're having a good time. And I will also put my Amazon wish list down below. All right, guys, take care and be blessed.